So this retrospective comics is something I got dragged into uh, inadvertently kicking and screaming when I was invited to be the Grand Poobah president of the Angoulême Comics Festival, their cross between the Frankfurt Book Fair and the Cannes Film Festival, in a culture that's more ready to attend to comics. And then voila, the Jewish Museum made itself available to me, and I thought, it's already there and it's traveling, why shouldn't they show it? But then it's made me think long and hard about what it means to have art on a wall as opposed to in a book. Because we focused so much on the process of what I made, that belongs on the wall, because that's something that can only be visible not in the printed book. The drawings are usually done on layout or tracing paper built in layers. I work from a light color to a dark color very often, so I'd have these little felt-tip pens working to locate the composition in yellow, refining it in orange, then grabbing whatever was darker, let's say red or brown, and then still be able to see it, put another sheet of tracing or layout paper on top, take it up to that stage and build it up again to bring it into more focus. And then ultimately, finally, putting that sheet of stationery on a light table, putting the last draft of the sketch over, and then doing hopefully one, but often more than one version to get that final panel and page in place. It's a process. At this point, it's more efficient to make the rough sketches that I was doing with colored pens in mouse on a, a Wacom tablet looking at a screen because I can do further layers, I can undo layers, I can change scales, come up with a god-awful looking picture but have solved a lot of compositional problems on the screen. In one project, In the Shadow of No Towers, I can't look at the pictures and know which parts I made on screen and which parts I made uh, on paper and then scanned in and improved. Some things never touched a piece of paper and they look exactly like the drawings I made on paper to me and to most people I'd show them to. Uh, it's become an organic part of the process. I believe that the show now coming to the Jewish Museum has those uh, aspects fully present. It's not presented in gilded frames. I haven't made work that wants that wall space the same way that somebody who's worked uh, on a painting as long as I might have worked on a page is begging for that wall. I allowed the work with the help of each of the institutions that have let this thing happen, progressively refining this show, uh, to something where it's asking one to take its measure and see what it offers and where it functions in the spectrum of the arts. We're ultimately sure the work I made was mostly, except for a few lithographs and drawings, destined to be in one of these quaint book objects.